So combining estimation, which is just rounding with addition. Uh, if I remember right on the homework, it's just going to ask for front end rounding. So that's what I'm focusing on in this, on these problems, okay? So when estimating using rounding, round the first number, then add. So uh, with front end rounding, yeah, we're gonna round each number individually. And what this also means is that sometimes we're not rounding to the same place value, okay? So um, we're, we're going to round them one at a time and then do the addition. So yeah, let's look at an example of this uh, front end rounding. So just a quick, ref uh, you know, quick refresher on that front end rounding stuff. So front end rounding means we're going to focus on the place value farthest to the left. Now, again, I don't, I don't care in addition when we're doing addition problems if they match. I'm only focusing on each number individually. So if I saw a number like this one front end rounded, I'd say, well, what number do I have farthest to the left? And that's the nine right there in the hundred thousands position, okay? So I say, okay, I got 900,000, uh, 968,915. Now I get, a, I get a look at the place value immediately to the right, which is a six in the 10 thousands place value. So that's six, since it's more than five, or five or more, I should say, then I'm going to add one to our target place value, which front end rounding is just the value, place value farthest to the left, which for us is hundred thousands. Now that's nine plus one, right? Which is 10. So I would actually write that as 10. And then any other place values to the right of uh, the hundreds place value is gonna just drop as a zero, right? So one, two, three, four, five place values are gonna drop as zeros. Like this, so I got those, those five black zeros represent the place values that just became zeros, right? The ten thousands, thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones. Those place values are these black zeros. The, the 10 in red there came from the nine plus one because I had to round the nine up one place value, which is why we add one there, because of the six. So nine plus one is 10, which is in red there. And then, you know, if you, if you wanna identify the, the periods with the commas, that's fine. So 968,915 would round to 1 million. So let's come back to this example. So that's, that's front end rounding. That's just an example of front end rounding with uh, a problem like this one. Uh, but let's use it, let's apply it with addition because we're gonna see problems like this on the homework, right? So um, with front end rounding, so I, I just focus on the numbers once again, one at a time. Now, if I were just to add these straight across, you may say, well, it's, it's really not that much addition. Couldn't I just do the addition? You could, it's just, you know, we need to front end round because that's what they told us to do. So that's what you would be looking at if you were to add these stacked. But what we need to do is change these into their front end rounded numbers. Now for both of these, it's nice because they're both in the thousands, but I'm just pointing this out again. You may see examples where the front end rounding is to a different place value for the values you're adding. So uh, like if this was, if there was no five here, let's say that there was no five right here, okay? Well, what that means is you'd round this number to the nearest thousand, and then the second number would round to the nearest hundred. So uh, just, just expect to see something like that. I, I assume that we'll see something like that in the, you know, oh, I think it was a five, right? There we go. All right, so let's round these. We're not gonna add these yet. Let's go and round these first. Okay, so I got the 8,370. So I identify the place value farthest to the left, the eight. And then I look immediately to its right, the hundreds place value, and I got a three. Well, three is less than five, which means that the place value, the front end place value, the thousands, is gonna stay in eight. And then the other three place values are gonna become zeros. So that then becomes 8,000. But then I do the same thing with 5,886. I only look at the five, because that's the, our front end of this number. And then I look at the number immediately to its right, that digit, that place value is the hundreds. That eight is more than five, it's five or more. So I would say I'm gonna have to add one to that five Five plus one is six. And then all the other three place values become zeros. Well, you can see that that creates a much 
well, maybe it's easier, maybe it's not. Um, but yeah, now I'm just looking at really just the eight plus the six right there. And yeah, zero plus zero is, well, zero. And zero plus zero, zero. Zero plus zero is zero. And I wish all calculations were that easy, but not always. They aren't always. And then eight plus six is, uh, eight plus six, again, you maybe using your fingers, put up eight, and then six more, one, two, three, four, five, six. I get 14 out of that. Now, if, if there were more place values to the left, not that there should be with front end rounding, but if there were more place values to the left, I would have just carried this one. But in this case, I don't really need to. That's just a straight 14,000.